how can you talk to Dutch citizens in 48, a few years after the war, and tell them it would be a good idea to collaborate and uh, to form new friendships again with Germans. That's a, that's a challenge that uh, I was particularly interested to see how the Marshall Plan approached this. So here we have film strips that were created and distributed uh, under the Marshall Plan to tell young Dutch students that they are part not only of a new Dutch generation after the World War II, but part of a European generation. There was the danger of a new eruption of aggression, and the United States felt something needs to be done to make sure that we're not facing another crisis that might lead to another uh, war. And I'm particularly interested in how the idea of a new Europe was being conveyed 70 years ago through images, sounds, moving images, and the Marshall Plan is a fascinating example to do this. The Marshall Plan had a number of effects on the city of Nijmegen. The library was destroyed and it was through American aid and American money that the library was being rebuilt not only from the outside, but also from the inside. Um, United States donated 30,000 books to the library, so it was very fitting that we would start this exhibition in the library of Nijmegen. And um, this is one example how Nijmegen benefited tremendously from American help. I just got a nasty egg. You don't need Why a Marshall Plan opera? Uh, that's a good question. First of all, I think music is a key to open up people's hearts and minds. Music crosses borders, people respond to it. It's interesting. And it's written in English and we translated uh, the text into German. It's a world premiere uh, of uh, the only Marshall Plan opera that I know of. It's in great humor, it has a satirical uh, dimension uh, and it's fun. So I think that's a perfect vehicle to make us uh, get interested in the Marshall Plan again. What Jean-Claude Juncker just recently said in the European Parliament, Samen Werk, Samen Stärk, and it's a message that uh, is 70 years old and it hasn't lost anything of its value. <laughs> Europe emerged out of that spirit and perhaps we have forgotten to think about what it means to be a European and to tell people that it is important to develop a European identity.